find the value of m and n. 4 raised to power m minus 36 raised to power n is equal to 28, where m and n are positive integers. Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of m and n from this given equation. We have 4 raised to power m minus 36 raised to power n is equal to 28, where m and n are positive integers. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have the given equation, 4 raised to power m minus 36 raised to power n is equal to 28. Then we have 2 square raised to power m minus 36 is what? c square raised to power n is equal to 28. Now remember, if you have a raised to power s raised to power y is the same thing as a raised to power s y, which is the same thing as a raised to power y raised to power x. Therefore, this equation become we have 2 raised to power m all square minus 6 raised to power n square is equal to what? 28. Now, if you look at this, this is different of 2 square. Remember, if you have a square minus b square is same thing as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Then where a is 2 raised to power m and b is what? 6 raised to power n. Therefore, our equation become we have 2 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n multiplied by 2 raised to power m minus 6 raised to power n is equal to 28. Now, here, we are going to perform a trick here so that the equation will be more easy to work with. Now, remember, what we are asked to find is the positive integer solution because the question says m and n are positive integers. Now, in that case, remember we have, if you look at this, 2 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n, then multiply by, we have 2 raised to power n, minus 6 raised to power n. This is 2 raised to power m, this is 6 raised to power n, and here is 2 raised to power m, and here is minus 6 raised to power n. It means that 2 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n is greater than 2 raised to power m minus 6 raised to power n. Now, remember, let's work on this 28. 28 can be expressed as 28 is same thing as we have 1 multiplied by 28. We also have 2 multiplied by 14, which is also equal to 28. And another thing is 28 is also 4 multiplied by 7. Now from here, we say 2 raised to power m plus 6 raised to power n is greater than 2 raised to power m minus 6 raised to power n. It means that 2 raised to power any number plus 6 raised to power any number here is what? Even. Because we are looking for positive and positive integer solution. 2 raised to power m, remember, plus 6 raised to power n, we said is greater than 2 raised to power m minus 6 raised to power n. Now, from here, this is even. And 2 raised to power m any number here, minus 6 raised to power any number here is also even. Therefore, let's look at this place. 1 is odd and 28 is uneven. Then we reject this. Also, let's come to the next one. 2 is even and 14 is even. We accept this. Then for here, we have 4 is even and 7 is odd. We reject this. 
Now the sol the possible solution we we'll work with now is what this one, then, which is equal to what, two. Multiply by fourteen. Therefore, we have two raised to the power m plus six raised to the power m, which is greater than two raised to the power m minus six raised to the power n. So this is n. N is equal to. We said this one is greater than this, meaning that and fourteen is also greater than two. We have fourteen greater than two. Now in this case, since this one is even, this one is even, this one is even, and this one is what even. Therefore, this one will go for this, and this will go for this. We have two raised to the power m plus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 14. Let's call this equation 1. And we also have this 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Let's call this equation 2. Now, this is a simultaneous equation. Now, let's solve using elimination method. Now, we have 2 raised to the power m minus 6 plus 6 raised to the power n is equal to 14. Then we have 2 raised to the power m minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Let's add equation 1 and 2 together. Then if you have together, we have 2 into 2 raised to the power m. This one will cancel this. is equal to 14 plus 2. That is 16. Now divide both sides by 2. We have 2 raised to the power 2 into 2 raised to the power m divided by 2 is equal to what? 16 divided by 2. This one will cancel this. 2 here, 1, 2 here, 8. Then we have 2 raised to the power m is equal to what? 8. 2 raised to the power m is equal to 8 is what? 2 raised to the power Three. Then they have the same base. This one will cancel this. M is equal to what? Three. That is the value of M. Then also, let's substitute for M in any of the equation, either equation one or two. But I'm going to pick equation two for my own case. Two raised to the power M minus six raised to the power N is equal to what? Two. Then m is equal to 3. We have 2 raised to the power 3 minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2. Now we have 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to 2. Then we have minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? 2 minus 8. Then minus 6 raised to the power n is equal to what? Minus 6. Then 6 raised to the power of n is equal to what? 6. Then this is the same thing as 6 raised to the power of 1. We have, they have the same base. This one will cancel this. n is equal to 1. Therefore, our answers are m is equal to 3, n is equal to what? 1. Those are the positive solution of what? m and n. Now, let's check to confirm if our answer is right or wrong. Check. Then this is 64. 4 raised to the power 3 is 64 minus 36 raised to the power 1 is 36, which is equal to 28. Now, 64 minus 36 is 28, which is equal to 28, which satisfies the given equation at m equal to 3 and n equal to 1. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.